Hi, today I'm going to tell you about the terrific feature we call Layouts. Due to this function, you can divide your screen into multiple areas using layers and to combine, for instance, advertising messages with any other useful information on one screen at the same time. Let's go to our demo account to learn more details. Click on the Layouts section and then Add New. As you can see here, you are able to choose one of the ready-to-go layouts or create a new one. Note that even in the new layout, you will already have a default layer for the playlist. I suggest taking a look at the demo case I have prepared specially for this video. I should say that in the projects list, you can click on the settings of the specific layout in order to browse its details or duplicate it. Now let's move to the editing of my layout. Here we see the display of all the elements on our screen. In order to work with the screen located vertically, select the portrait orientation here. In this case, the vertical and horizontal display modes settings are linked and changed simultaneously regardless of what mode specifically the changes occur. By clicking on this icon, we can break the link as well and create the same case but with different display of the elements in the vertical and horizontal modes. In the next block, there are the elements which can be used in the creating of your layouts. The additional layers, interactive buttons, text or tickers, time and weather widgets, as well as any images. In the right sidebar, there are all the elements in use. And at any time, you're able to highlight and browse one or another by clicking on it. Also, here you can change the position of each element in the same way as you make it using any popular graphic editor. Also, there is a nesting of the elements, where the element located inside of the main one will be correlated to its size and position automatically. When selecting an element from both the main block and the right side bar, you can view its specific settings in this tab for your convenience. At the main screen, you can easily drag and drop all the elements, change its size and colors according to your needs. Along with it, each element has the property of being attached to other elements as well as to the screen borders. Also, you can set the grid, which is usually used by designers for markup. Furthermore, you are able to use the familiar hotkeys while set up your layout, like undo and etc. Don't forget to click a save button, which automatically appears after any action. If you are going to move to any other section in the CMS, the system will suggest you save all the previous changes. In my case, I use not only images and widgets as the content, but also I've created a layer with one of the social plugins available in our system. Also, using one or another layer, you'll be able to add any web content which will be certainly interactive in case you use touchscreens for your project. Now we need to apply this layout to the playlist. Just choose the needed one, click Add to Screen and select Required. Switch on Use Layout and choose the project we need. Then just save it. In the Screen section, we can see now that we have layout applied to the screen. So let's see how it looks like. And that is all for today. Please stay tuned in order to learn more about the look new possibilities. Thank you for watching.